was the night before Christmas, when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a louse. The traps were all set by the chimney with care, in hopes that Saint Nicholas soon would step there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while nightmares had body parts danced in their heads, and Mama with her hatchet, and I am with my axe, had just settled down for a little nightcap, when out on the lawn, there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my chair to see what made the splatter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and ripped through the sash. The moon on the breast of the bloodstained snow gave a hideous glow to objects below, when, what to my wondering I should appear. The watchman was dead with a knife in his ear, there, on the lawn, knelt a man rather thick, the blood on his coat told me he was Saint Nick. More rapid than butchers he sprang to his feet, this zombified Santa was hungry for meat. Where are the children? I want them now. Bring them down to me and let me find down. I'm tired and impatient, I've come to your home, I hunger for brains, and I'm not alone. As dry leaves up before the wild hurricane fly, a legion of demons flew down from the sky, and up to the housetop this eagle took roost, with red beady eyes and long pointy tooth. And then, in a heartbeat, I heard on the roof the digging and paring of each demon hoof. As I drew in my hand, and was turning around, down the chimney Saint Nicholas came down with a growl. He was dressed all the hair of the dead he had skinned and his clothes were bloodstained from both women and men. With a bundle of cutlery hung on his back, he grabbed for a knife and began his attack. His eyes, they stared through me. His smile, freaking scary. His nose was all wrinkled like an old, rotten cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. He slashed at my leg and I fell to the floor. The stump of my limb he held tight in his teeth, and the blood seeped from it to white tile beneath. He had a cruel face and some blood in his beard. His expression was empty. For my life I now feared. He was ugly and evil, a sick little elf, and I knew things must change, for my kids and myself. With my leg now missing, my wife surely dead, I pushed from the floor and kicked Nick in the head. He spoke not a word, but when fell straight on his back and all the tracks sprung just thunder a snap. Laying there, writhing, right where he fell this bastard passed right through the doorway of hell. The demons then vanished. My children were safe. I sat there, crying, beginning to faint. But before I passed out, I screamed with all might, scary Christmas to all, and to all a good fright.